Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing three brands of coloured pencils and seeing if the Prismacolor Premier coloured pencils are as good as everyone says they are. So the first brand I have for you today is the Staedtler, Staedtler mm -hmm, Super Soft Coloured Pencils. I got these from Scroller Box, but I looked up and they're worth £7.68 for 12 pencils. I only have 11 here because I don't know where the 12th one went, which first off, that's my big gripe with them, the fact that the barrels are black and very easy to misplace. Next, we have the Faber-Castell Eco Pencils. These are effectively like a art student or, an, or a starter set kind of thing. So they're not technically artist grade, but I think they're fairly good. These will run you £6.95 for 24. So that's, that's pretty good. And I think they're fairly good so far, which is why these are my baseline effectively. Out of the two I have, these are my favorite. So that's why I'm so excited to see the professional version. Oh. I'm so excited. I can't even like, I just wanna, just wanna open it. Okay, so <laughs> this is a Prism Prismacolor Premier Colored Pencils. These are 24 pounds for 24 pencils. So they're about a pound a pencil. Uh, obviously there's a tin included in that price and all that, but near enough a pound a pencil. So pretty pricey compared to the other two. But if they're as good as they are like rumored to be, 24 pounds for this kind of quality for 24 colors is actually not that bad. Anyway, let's, enough dawdling, let's get this wrapper off and see what we're working with. So I've just quickly gone ahead and swatched them out. I tried to choose um, a light blue and a dark blue of each kind. Right off the bat, very impressed with the Prismacolor. I can figure it, I would be impressed because they are the premier kind of colour pencils. But more specifically, what I'm most interested in is I could work a lot more with the Prismacolors than I could with the Staedtler or the Faber-Castell. What I mean by that is it gets a point with these two, specifically the Staedtler, where it doesn't blend anymore. You can't put any more down because the tooth of the paper, which is the like texture of it, is already full of pigment. Whereas the Prismacolors almost like, as well as going in the tooth of the paper, they also just stay on top. So they're, they're much more workable and they went down much smoother as well. So that's really good. So this is just standard printer paper that I've tried it on. I have a bunch of other papers here that I'm going to test these on and I'm going to see which I prefer. So I've swatched them all now. This was our control on the standard printer paper. This is the 80 GSM Hobbycraft, the 100 GSM Art Discount Paper, 200 GSM Canon, 220 House of Card, 300 GSM Bocking for Block, and the paper I've nicknamed Thick because I don't know what it is. I know it's scrapbook paper and that it's toned and that's about it. On average, the Staedtler can go away. I really don't like it. I feel like it, them calling it super soft is a lie. They feel so scratchy. I got goosebumps every time I had to use them. Do not buy them. The next ones we have are the Faber-Castell, which were the ones I was previously using. Well, have used previously, sorry. They're really good. Um, they're pretty good for the price. They're pretty much the same price as the Staedtler ones but they went on a lot smoother than the Staedtler ones did. They didn't feel as scratchy which is really good. They blended probably about the same. I would say maybe slightly easier but they felt a lot nicer to use. They also came up a lot better on the black paper and the toned paper than the Staedtler ones did. So overall if you're looking for a budget coloured pencil these are pretty good. There was like £7 or something for uh, 24 so that's pretty good now let's move on to the stars of the show the prismacolor pencils okay i love them <laughs> right off the bat i think they're really good they are so smooth no scratchiness at all not even a little bit of scratchy they just went on so nicely they worked beautifully on the black paper. Like even the dark color you can see comes out really nice. So black paper seems really fun and interesting to use. So being able to use them like effectively is great. The Canston was okay. Very similar to this house of card paper, which is great. Cause as I said, I have a lot of this, 
but I think they actually work best on this watercolour paper, the 300 GSM. Um, I was able to press a lot harder and put a lot more work into getting this blend, but for like every, just an everyday simple drawing, this one I think worked best. So now we've done all our testing, I'm going to go ahead and do a full drawing and I will see you back for my final thoughts. So here is the final artwork I've done with the Prismacolor Premier coloured pencils. I have to say I am incredibly impressed. Like I did not expect them to work this well because coloured pencils are coloured pencils, right? Like I didn't think there was much difference between the ones you get from like the Hobbycraft or from the dollar store or whatever and these, but I have been proven wrong, absolutely. £24 is still quite pricey, but for the experience I just had with these, it's well worth it. Obviously, if you're still on a budget, I would recommend the Faber-Castells over the Stadler that I tried. Just because they're about the same price, you get more Faber-Castell pencils, and I think they're better quality. But seriously, if you can afford these, get them. They're lovely and creamy, they blend really well, the colours are fantastic. Like. Look how bright and vibrant those colours are. They're absolutely beautiful. I 100% I guarantee you will have a great time with these pencils. I sound like I'm sponsored. I'm not. I wish, but I'm not. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed me reviewing these pencils, please let me know. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to review. Other than that, if you liked that video, please give it a like. If you really liked it, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Bye!